The House of Oman Luxury has just recently popped up on the scene, definitely new to my radar, and I got a couple of fragrances courtesy of Max Aroma to test these joints out. So much so that this particular fragrance made it onto my smooches box with Max Aroma, and that was Oud Aquilaria. I loved the scent profile, absolutely my type of fragrance. But doing some research on the interwebs, people are saying not only is the perfumer the same for this particular fragrances, but they feel that it's a clone of this particular fragrance, and that's Frederick Mall's Promise. So is Frederick Mall Promise the same as Oud Aquilaria? Let's find out. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can compare these two side to side because it's the same perfumer, so is it the same fragrance? Plus and morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. When I first got a few of the fragrances from Oman Luxury, I was like, wow, what a beautiful house that is producing great quality fragrances. I thought the performance was amazing. I thought the scent profiles were fairly unique, but now I'm looking at all the stuff on the internet about this particular fragrance, I'm now in doubt. Luckily, I happen to have Promise, and Promise gave me maybe the same reaction as far as this one is concerned as I loved this fragrance and I wanted it for such a while that I ended up having to cop it at retail. Fucking liar! Well, almost retail. They hooked me up a little bit at Neiman. But when I smelled this one, it didn't remind me of this one, but it's been a while since I've smelled it. So I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison and give you a little bit of information if these two are clones, comparable, or have differentiating factors between them. But let me give you a little bit of information about Oud Aquilaria as far as the note profile. All right, so according to Fragantica, it's apple, pink pepper, rosemary, damask rose, Bulgarian rose, clove, sage, Oud, patchouli, amber, labdanum. So let's look up the notes of promise. Mmm. Apple, pink pepper, rosemary, Bulgarian rose, Turkish rose, clove, cypriot oil, patchouli, labdanum, castorium, and ambroxan. So not exactly the same, but a lot of similar notes. So, hmm. Now it is the same perfumer, and when you really think about it across the board, this is something that happens a lot in the perfumery game, where a perfumer does a fragrance for different houses and takes a DNA that works and zhuzhes it up a little bit. It happens in Creed, it happens in a ton of niche houses, it happens in a ton of designer houses, it happens all across the board. So some of the purists may feel some type of way, but sorry guys, but this shit just continuously happens more and more, and it's something we gotta smell and deal with, kind of, to be honest with you. Like, there should be some differentiating factors. At least the notes aren't side-by-side -side identical, but very close, but are the scents themselves close? I thought Oud Aquilaria was amazing. Great performance off of my skin as I was getting like nine plus hours on the two wears that I've gotten on this joint so far. And Promise was up there like fucking 10 plus hours. This joint was a grenade. Probably because of that little castorium bump. But let's smell them side by side and see if these two are clones of each other. And if they are, is one better value than the other? So let's start off with Promise. Promise is lit. And it's one of the few mall fragrances that I do enjoy. Mall is not up there with one of my favorite houses. They have a couple of joints that I like, but a lot of stuff that I don't like. Some of the purists love Mall, and good for you, not me. Shit. Man, so fucking good. Right off rip, I'm definitely getting an apple pie-ish vibe with that Ambroxan punch that makes it that mass appeal sexy vibe. I do get slight spices, but I get that castorium. Slightly dirty, musky, soily, earth. Just earth, soil, potter's plant kind of soil. Very fire though, super nice. You get that cypriot oil, green. Oh, I love this shit. It smells so fucking good. All right, all right, so I got a good nose of promise. Now let's try Oud Aquilaria. And let's see if I'm in that same reaction of Oud Aquilaria that I do with promise. Same perfumer, almost same notes, let's see. No, no. I'm getting oud, sweet kind of underlying bubblegumish. The rose here smells sugary. The oud factor here is not the same at all as promise. It's more of a sugary rose. You get the apple, you don't get much of the spice. Let me put these two side by side. Oud Aquilaria, sweet, sugary, oudy rose. <laughs> promise, no. No. I mean, honestly, they have a, a lot, a lot of similar notes, but no. 
I'm gonna do it on skin. I, I don't get it. I don't see it. And I don't have a problem saying I see it. I mean, it does me zero benefit to be like, no, this one's better than that. I don't give a fuck, honestly. But promise on the red, promise on the watch hand. Ood Aqualaria, one spray on the, the other hand. Let's air these out for a little bit. All right, I'm gonna start now with Ood Aqualaria. Still get that same vibe. Oud, sugary rose, a little muskier on the skin. Still keeps that sweet sugary vibe though. Very nice, super nice actually, fuck. All right, now let's go Promise. No fam, they're not, it could be the same perfumer, it, they're not even close. No, the castorium is really present here on Promise. The apple is really nice and crisp. You get more of a spiciness on Promise, but you get way more musky and castorium vibes coming off this shit. This one smells way more Middle Eastern like powerhouse than Oud Aqualaria. The performance factor off skin on Promise smells definitely more prevalent than Oud Aqualaria. Oud Aqualaria feels like a sweeter, sexy, low-key sugary rose with some musky vibes and light oud. Promise is more of an aggressive punch, denser, castorium, red apple, peppery, smoky, deep. They're not the fucking same. This is why I don't trust what nobody says, fam. Yo, my biggest shit, and I tell people all the time, don't trust me. Don't trust the fucking notes that you read. Trust your skin. Sample these joints. Don't listen to the peanut gallery. Half these dudes don't know what the fuck they saying. I don't know what I'm saying half the time. All I know is that I got a fire nose for what smells good and what doesn't to me. I pass along that information. But when I start looking at peanut gallery, that's why I don't read comments and I don't like going notes and none of that stupid shit. Opinions like an asshole. Everybody gets fisted. Like, shut up. Like, these shits do not smell the same at all, fam. Promise is a fucking bomba. Castorium, red apple, Middle Eastern punch in your gut, leaving you breathless. Gorgeous. Oud Aqualaria, beautiful, simple, sugary, rosy oud with musky nuances, not the powerhouse that Promise is. This one has less performance than this one. Completely transparent and honest. Off of my skin, I got what, eight plus hours off of these two wears? And I've mentioned it before, this motherfucker has lasted me infinity and beyond, but they're not the same. Yes, the same perfumer, they almost have the same notes, but these shits don't smell the same to me. Maybe to you, and maybe off of your skin, but off of mine? Bro, not even in the same planet. No way. No way. The internet is full of shit, bro. It's the problem with the internet nowadays. Everybody can say whatever the fuck they want to say, and like, yup, 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 that's true. No not even in the same planet. Promise performs better, the beastier fragrance than Oud Aqualaria. Are they both sexy? Absolutely. Are they the same perfumer? Absolutely. Do they have similar notes? Absolutely. Do they smell the same? Not even fucking close. No way. I don't know what to tell you. Oud Aqualaria is its own thing. Smells super beautiful. It is a very fun house. I've smelled four of these fragrances already, so it's definitely something that's gonna make some noise. Promise is its own thing. Sticks in that mall lineup. Mall tends to make these fucking uppercut diesel ass fragrances, and this is definitely no slouch. So to clear up any misconception, at least in my personal opinion, what do I know? Nothing, right? These shits don't smell nothing alike. Oud Aqualarium feels a little bit more wearable than Promise, considering they're not the same. Sugary, mass appeal, sexy, I would say entry level Oud, very wearable, has nothing off-putting about it. The Castorium in Promise could be a little bit of a deterrent for some people, but if you've already got that mature nose and you're already in this space, this is gonna be regular, regular, no big deal. For me, no big deal at all. I love it. There's an absolute space for both of these if you're interested in both of these. That's just my 10 cent worth. Oud Aqualaria is definitely a beautiful option of a house that at least sample. See if it works for you. But don't listen to the Fragranticas and all that. 
half this shit is bullshit. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Shout out to Max Roman for sponsoring today's video. Oud Aquilaria, lit, 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 super fire. Promise. <laughs> super fire. They not the same. We not the same. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. Biggest in the game. Stop lying. Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough rugger that raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.